Good morning, uh, good afternoon, and good evening, especially to the people who are in uh, my time zone. Good evening to you. I'm uh, based out of Sri Lanka, and uh, you know, delighted to take a few minutes to share how we can uh, use different approaches in setting up AWS landing zone, which, like uh, Ron mentioned, uh, gives you a lot of cost benefit, governance, and so on. So. Uh, I'll just quickly dive in and give a brief about uh, a brief overview about uh, what you said as a company, the company that I work for, having an engineering first uh, culture. Uh, we have about thirty thousand people across twenty two countries. Seventy five percent of uh, the cloud professionals are certified, and a, few, a range of other, uh, you know, accolades that we have uh, achieved uh, on the screen. And obviously, it will be available for download as well later. Uh, having said that, you know, these are just some of the logos of uh, clients that we have worked uh, with in the past and uh, uh, currently as well. Um, this is not the full list, but this is just uh, to give a brief overview of the, the industry focus that we have in different uh, areas. And also to mention that uh, while this today is kind of dedicated towards uh, AWS VR, uh, you know, working with uh, all the three hyperscalers, uh, AWS, Microsoft Azure, and GCP. Uh, but again, specific to AWS, and we have competencies and, and specific uh, uh, offerings on the other cloud providers, but this is just to give you a very high level overview of what type of uh, competencies and areas that we are focusing on uh, with AWS, 2,300 plus certifications overall in the company and growing rapidly. We have been a premier partner with uh, AWS for about, I think from 2017, but have been a uh, partner with AWS for about 11 years, 11 plus years. Uh, so briefly, like I said, I'm, I'm uh, based on Colombo, Sri Lanka. Uh, in, this is... Uh, uh, you know, an island nation saying, close to India. I'm going to lead for AWS in the Virtuous Cloud Service Line. Yeah. One thing, I'm going to ask you to turn off your video. I know you're okay. uh, different time zones to make sure we know you're presenting live to make sure we can hear you clearly. Sure, sure. All right, thank you. Um, so like I mentioned, I, I am currently heading the AWS competency in Virtusa, um, but being uh, with AWS Cloud Practice from its inception in uh, 2014. Um, and you can look me up on LinkedIn for a few more details. So heading right into uh, the main topic that I would want to cover. So AWS Landing Zone, as you know, is going to be uh, an area where, you know, it's it's almost like the foundation of a building, right? You have to ensure that the foundation is solid before you can start building upon it, whether it is migrating applications, existing on-prem applications, or whether it is you know, deploying new applications to AWS. So uh, there are various ways of doing it. Some people do it manually, some people do scripting. Um, AWS has this concept of landing zones and they use uh, a functionality and a service called control tower. A lot of the landing zone functionality, if you want it automated and expedited, uh, can be done using control tower. So what we have done is depending on the scenario or the type of industry and the type of uh, customer that we work with, we have come up with three different approaches for this. And we have uh, customized those approaches as well as built uh, scripts and uh, templates on top of those so that, that that can further be leveraged for similar clients uh, in, 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 in future projects. So the three approaches that we are talking about, the first one being the AWS control tower with AWS Cloud Formation. So as you know, AWS Cloud Formation is an infrastructure as a code technology, allows us to programmatically provision environments on AWS. Cloud Formation is a native AWS technology. And then similarly, we have Terraform, which is uh, you know a technology which is uh, uh, outside AWS, uh, works on multiple cloud uh, providers. Uh, and how can we use Terraform uh, on AWS uh, Control Tower to achieve a similar result of uh, you know, setting up the AWS landing zone. And then finally, um, there's also an accelerator that we had developed um, 
using uh, the AWS landing zone called AWS landing zone accelerator. This is something that in, got incorporated into AWS itself um, the last couple of years, but this is something that we had developed many years back. Uh, and, and obviously now we are using to utilize what has been incorporated from our side into AWS as well. So we'll go through a, few, a bit more detail for each of the solutions, and I'll show you a very high level case study of how and what we have done uh, with clients as well. So if you see uh, you know, the first solution, we are looking at the control tower with AWS CloudFormation. Now, uh, what we do is obviously, as you know, you know the uh, control tower is a service that uh, you know, allows us to um, uh, provision uh, the AWS foundation uh, with uh, minimal effort, but you have to do a lot of configuration. And that is where the cloud formation comes in, which allows us to programmatically code that customization and, and configuration across the multiple AWS environments, the multi-account AWS environments that you generally start developing as an enterprise. So uh, one of the key, some of the key features of the um, AWS Control Tower with Cloud Formation is that you know the blueprints or the the templates that we create are highly customizable on using Cloud Formation, right? We can, depending on you know certain companies and certain industries specifically, have different controls in terms of uh, you know security and 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 what type of uh, access that should be given to whom, and therefore with the blueprints that we have developed and customized, we can do that seamlessly. And then similarly, we can bring in uh, predefined guardrails, uh, again, for specific industries, for specific customers, for specific scenarios, based on the specific requirements that they have, along with policies that can be customized for governance purposes. Uh, and of course, like I mentioned, this is meant for multi-account AWS environments, and therefore the concept of an account vending machine where you can just give in a few details of uh, configurations and the accounts, the AWS accounts are generated through approval processes very quickly. So an ideal kind of scenario where you would use this is for customers where need high customization in terms of the, uh, the controls and the guardrails and where there is complex multi-account architectures with governance. So let me quickly show you, you know, very briefly, uh, 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 kind of a, a blueprint of one of the customers that we developed. And again, I don't know whether this is very visible on the screen right now, but obviously this will be available for download. On the top, you will see the master account where you have all the plumbing of the solution. And then at the bottom, you see all the OUs, the organizational units that have been created inside which the re relevant AWS accounts have been provisioned using this particular solution. And you know this is an example where we have done this for a government-based organization in New Jersey in USA, kind of uh, you know, shows that this is something that is generally uh, done for uh, customers and environments where there is regulatory and governance requirements. Similarly, we have done this for a financial institution in UK as well. So as you can see uh, in that detailed slide, lots of complexity there. That's part of the service that Virtusa can offer is understanding the complexities of regulatory issues in the United States. You've got FINRA, you've got the SEC, you've got state regulatory yeah. agencies, you've got the Office of the Control of the Currency, all that complexity. And while it's a little hard to see some of the wording, that's a value that Virtusa can bring. We've also seen in previous presentations, organizations, even if you have other service providers doing the initial configuration, they still bring in Virtusa because they can easily come up to speed. They know these complicated environments and work in hand in hand with some existing installations to get this done. All right, all yours, Hussein. Sorry for chirping in. You know, thanks, Ron. That kind of summarizes the solution one quite well. And then similarly, we come to solution two. Now, it's it's very similar to solution one where there is control power and there is some kind of infrastructure as a code. But here, instead of cloud formation, we are using Terraform. The reason for that is we have seen and we have worked with a lot of customers 
for whatever reason, they prefer using Terraform over CloudFormation, right? So CloudFormation is something that you would use only in AWS. Terraform is a technology that you can use for AWS or your GCP. So from a skill set standpoint and, and you know, uh, governance standpoint, sometimes become easier. So some customers already are using Terraform maybe for the other uh, cloud uh, providers and, and therefore they prefer to use Terraform here. And therefore we don't want to eliminate or segregate those customers and the similar kind of a solution that we had in one, we can do it here. And, and again, you know, all the, all the kind of advantages of uh, using IAC infrastructure, the code apply here as well from a Terraform declarative standpoint, the flexibility of defining the account structures similar to the previous one. and. And I you know Terraform has some additional functionality where it brings in workflows for when you are doing the deployments, and that you can now easily integrate with this particular solution. So uh, again, obviously, the ideal scenario would be any customer organization where they are already using Terraform and they have that expertise and they're using the workflows, and how do they want to integrate that into the AWS account provision? So again, I'll show you a very brief um, you know, uh, case study here where we did this for a leading American pet retailer, which is already using Terraform for their IAC. Now, if you look at on the left-hand side, it shows you at a high level how Terraform is being used um, to uh, you know, develop the multi-region application deployment. It has the two regions, US East 1 and 2, and then it has the dev, the, pro, the, pro, that, the non-prod, and the prod. Uh, across those and and Terraform uh, with this uh, the solution that we have can seamlessly go and deploy it across regions and across uh, multiple accounts. Uh, and again, I, I just this is a kind of a slightly bird's eye view, but you know if you if you double click internally, which is what we are trying to show on the right hand side, as kind of a uh, this this you know specific to only one application. So the previous architecture that we showed was you know the the nuts and bolts of the entire foundation. But here, just to show that a little bit when you you know double click on the application itself, how an application using this solution can be deployed very easily uh, with a little bit of configuration and reusing a lot of the templates that we have uh, using Terraform across multiple regions here. And, and we bring that uh, to uh, is including our library of templates and blueprints uh, to the table when we do this for our clients. Uh, and then finally, the third solution, which is what we call AWS Landing Zone Accelerator. Now, this is this is kind of used um, or, or developed uh, or introduced by AWS recently. We have we had a version of this uh, within Virtusoft for some time. And you know uh, we we work with AWS to get that integrated into the AWS ecosystem itself, so it is available for others also. But the fun the you know the functionality is again similar. You know rapid deployment because it is almost like a, a bundle that is provided pre baked uh, for specific industries. So, you know healthcare has a pre baked set of deployment. Life sciences have a different. Banking and financials have a different. So anywhere for, you know, ideally for any kind of medium-sized organization that requires to quickly set up an AWS environment with the, which without too much customization, because we have already brought in the industry requirements, the industry flavor uh, into the, the solution uh, itself. We did this for a leading construction company in uh, Canada recently, very recently, where they wanted to quickly migrate from their existing on-prem and move over to AWS. So, uh, you know, because a lot of these things were pre-baked, uh, we were able to quickly go in and deploy the entire environment uh, onto AWS. So, I'll quickly summarize, and again, this table is kind of just to give you a high-level overview of, you know, what are some of the uh, parameters that you can look at when trying to select which one is the most appropriate. And of course, you can always talk to us, uh, you know, if, if, if you don't exactly fit the bill here, but, you know, looking at the three solutions as well, and then the four parameters as columns, you know, customizability, even if you have a requirement for high customizability with stringent regulatory requirements, and if you're okay with, uh, you know, AWS CloudFormation, 
uh, we can go with the first one. It, it deploys it you know quite fast. But if you are not very highly regulated, if you if you have to use Terraform because you're already using, then the second one, and then obviously finally, if there's something that you need to quickly rapidly deploy, uh, and and that of course works only with AWS CloudFormation at the moment, we can uh, propose the third one. So I have written a detailed blog about this as well. The, the QR code and the link is shown on the screen. And again, it will be available for download. So feel free to you know go through the blog and then reach out to me at any time uh, if you have any questions or uh, you know you need any clarifications on the blog or if you uh, want to uh, you know look at discussing some opportunities where we can help you uh, on your cloud journey. There's a, a speak to an expert button in the at the end of the blog as well. Um, but uh, uh, you can always uh, drop me a line as well.